Here we go with this so-called major announcement. I'm afraid this is a good news, bad news kind of night. And I've always been a bad news first kind of girl. So here goes. With our fearless leader, William Regal returned, looking quite tan, might I add, the time has come for me to step down as your raw general manager. I actually thought she did a great job, guys. Are you kidding me, Byron? Well, at least it was exciting. All right, so there may have been some mixed opinions on my stint as GM, but I'm sure that's only because we all know where I really belong, which is fighting in a WWE ring. Not sure that's the only reason. Which is why I'm pleased to announce, given Becky's unfortunate medical status, at the hands of someone who William Regal has assured me will be dealt with. The real suits have decided to name a new number one contender for the Women's World Championship. Me! Huge news for the Women's World title. And that championship match is happening right now! After all the confusion around Survivor Series, we're finally getting to see Bianca defend her championship. So, Bianca Belair, let's... This woman just will not stop coming after the captain. If her grievance was big enough to get her to take down the War Games cage in a tank, did you really expect her to let it go? Hey there, friend. <sighs> Give it a rest, Shotzi. Haven't you done enough at this point? I think what you meant to say is, thank you for making me number one contender, Shotzi. Sorry you hurt your leg in that unfortunate tank incident. <laughs> Wait, how did you get hurt when you were driving the tank? Is this really all because I didn't give you proper credit for your terribly original idea of let's have a war games match at Survivor Series? and didn't even put me in the match. But no, this isn't an isolated incident. This, apparently, is just what you do. Playing in other people's sandboxes, stealing other people's ideas, and jumping every line. You may have William Regal fooled, but not me, and not the locker room. Oh, I'm sure, Shotzi. Cutting lines might work in TBD, but in WWE, there are consequences. Bailey? That's Bailey's music, but where is she? Is Shotzi just playing mind games here? Bailey from behind! Shotzi's found an ally who's not okay with being skipped over for a women's world championship match. I don't blame her. It was supposed to be either Bailey or Becky. Cap weaseled in there. Wait, we're getting a call from the back. This is an official match. Here we go. We thought it was all over at War Games, but Cap getting named number one contender apparently upset certain members of the locker room. Yeah, at least the ones who felt they were more deserving coming out of that War Games match. Either way, Bianca Belair just got a night off, while two of her possible future opponents are going to tear each other apart. The Women's World Champion is the real winner here. Boom! Boom, what a kick. Boom! That blow put Bailey's big aspirations on hold for a moment. Wow, picture perfect moonsault. She's looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. She wants to finish this. Turn it around to hit a DDT with authority. Oh, what a knee strike. She got the shoulders down. And the rope saved her there. She 
catches Bailey with a counter. No way. Great agility. Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. Oh, what a kick. Ducking out of trouble. Nice running crossbody. She avoids the attack completely. No. <laughs> Squaring off right by our announce table. Bailey fending that off. Wow, that won't separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it. This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. Oof, refusing to let her get into her head. Top rope, putting it all up high. Oh, straight to the floor. This can't be good. They just missed wildly. Took the high risk, but unfortunately, no reward. A carefully placed stomp to the arm. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. Ooh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. No, oh, no, their eyes, their eyes! Oh, a punt right to the face! She's in the ring now. And she is feeling the electricity from the crowd now. Count out may be imminent here. Really testing fate right now. No! Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Right on cue. German super hunger here. Able to stop the pin count here. What a forearm. She scores big with the counter. Shinbreaker, not done yet. Well, this will tear your knee apart. Oh, direct impact to the chest. Close up. And Zagiri finds its mark. Delivers the cross body. She's getting back to her feet, but is there fight left? Is it enough to put Bailey away? Here we go. Shooting star press. Gonna be taking that dirt now. There's two. An incredible victory for the captain here tonight. She certainly solidified her position as the number one contender. Shotzi from behind with that crutch. Come on. What the heck? She claimed she was injured. She was just pulling all our legs, Cole. Shotzi laying the boots in now. Compared to the tank, this is nothing. Finally, the referee getting control of the situation. She's using that crutch on her throat. Shotzi wasn't done. Rush in the leg sweep with the crutch. At least Shotzi's made her point now, and we can finally get on to the business of the Women's World Championship next week. I'm not so sure, Byron. Neither am I. Based on what Shotzi said earlier, I doubt that this satisfied her desire for revenge. She's on a mission.
Does it look smaller? Huh? That's what kids always say when they come back home, right? They go off to the great wide world, come home, and everything looks small. I haven't seen you around here much lately. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe a little smaller? I was in the neighborhood. Figured I'd stop in to get a few reps in before my big match with Bianca. Shotzi's not also in the neighborhood, is she? You know my insurance doesn't cover tanks. I don't think you have to worry. Tanks don't get great gas mileage, so she probably won't come crashing through the wall. No promises, though. And just when I was starting to feel nostalgic about you breaking things around here. How are you feeling after that crutch attack? I'm fine. Can you believe Shotzi's still bitter you didn't book her in TBD? And now she's turning it into a whole thing about how I stole her so-called war games idea. In fairness, it's you who didn't want to book her. What? Really? I believe your words at the time were, I'm not impressed. That does sound like me. But I was probably just being flippant. Being flippant without thinking that your actions could actually have consequences? Yeah, definitely you. Then, on purpose or not, Shotzi effectively brings you up to the big leagues, and instead of any sort of thanks, you steamroll right into a fantastical whirlwind tour of all things WWE. Let's be fair. I didn't steamroll right away. And Shotzi brought me to Raw so she could make an example of me. Maybe. But is that also why she pitched you the idea for a War Games match when you were GM? A match you thought was a good enough idea to book but then shut her out of? I never said it was my idea. Besides, it wasn't a groundbreaking suggestion. And everything worked out. Right, because I'm sure the WWE Universe saw the superstar GM announce the War Games match, put herself in it, and then thought, hmm, who else can I give credit to for setting up this awesome main event? It worked out for you. And now you get a championship match against Bianca Belair. Shotzi? Not so much. Jeez, whose side are you on, Geneva? You know whose side I'm on. That's why I gotta be straight with you, to make sure you get your head right so you can take that title from Bianca. You know, after ignoring WWE for so long, becoming their champion is the only thing I can dream of. This is a moment of destiny for a woman who spent years crisscrossing the world and honing her skills before finally arriving in the big leagues of WWE. You can really feel the electricity in the arena, Michael. Waiting on the champion here. It's obvious Bianca's playing mind games with her opponent. Oh boy, here we go again. Shotzi's vendetta against the number one contender continues. And it looks like she's had about enough of it. No, no, guys, guys, it's not what you think. I have a seriously heartwarming announcement. Bianca Belair can't be here tonight. This is the second time the number one contender's match has been called off. No, I told you, it's actually heartwarming. Bianca was wrapping up an appearance at a nearby community center before the show, when suddenly, out of nowhere, three buses of adorable children from a local school showed up, excited to meet the women's world champion. And you know how Bianca is. She wouldn't leave until everyone got a picture and an autograph. How those buses showed up just in time to prevent Bianca from making it here for her championship match tonight, we may never know. But Bianca just couldn't leave those sweet children hanging. Are you seriously booing children? Wow, what a bloodthirsty bunch you all are.
I did feel bad that you didn't have a match anymore tonight, though. Oh no, it's not me. I have the night off from in-ring action, just like at war games. But these three women do not. Oh my, the cap has history with all these women. And we're getting word from the truck that she'll be facing them in a fatal four-way. I think she said to bring it on. Easy to say, harder to survive. Shotzi's curated a formidable challenge for the number one contender. Honestly, I'm just impressed that Shotzi managed to curate this match and three busloads of children in the same day. What? That was Shotzi? For God's sakes, catch up, Byron. Nonetheless, this is going to be a huge fatal four-way contest here on Raw. Like you said, Corey, Cap definitely has a target on her back due to her history with these three other superstars. I'm just wondering, after all these false starts, if Cap will ever make it to her title match with Bianca Belair. I think that's Shotzi's exact goal, Saxton. And if the first off doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Took the world slam. Oh, sit out slam. The ultimate sign of disrespect. Oh, unloaded. Places her right in the corner. Uh -oh. Ripley with the wherewithal to counter. Oh, 
<laughs> Shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. She breaks the ref's count. Well, I thought for sure that was it. situation right now. Oh, look at this. She's wedged in the chair between the top and second top buckle. Continues. But now Liv jumping complete shot. Can Morgan clinch this one? That could have been it right there. Slips out of the way. Snap me takedown. in the nick of time. Asuka looking to put this one away. The Asuka lock. Submission move locked in. Is she going to tap? You feel like hope is... Oh, look at this. Oh, just breaks the grip, delivers an elbow, and just like that, she's back out of it. Ooh! That's one of my all-time favorites. Showing off their submission skill. The lock. She breaks the hold. And one to the face. Shin breaker. Rhea Ripley locking in the prism trap. Submission locked in. Trapped and no win. Rhea Ripley did it. What a huge win. Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley. Choppy C for the captain tonight. You've been wanting to run that line up the mass for a long time, haven't you? This match was absolutely filled with surprises and dramatic moments from all four superstars. It was you, wasn't it? You're the reason I'm missing my championship match with Bianca. Again! Oh, it's hardly my fault. Your car service was way too willing to accommodate your new itinerary. You know, they really should have some sort of security on that. Figured the least I could do was play hooky from Raw 2 so we could have a little chat. You really want to do this here? Fight in an airport lounge? Absolutely not. They'd never let me back in, and I love their little mini cupcakes too much. I just want what's mine. What exactly is that, Shotzi? I can't go back in time and hire you at TBD. I can't go back and put you in war games. Your obsession with me is unhealthy. What's unhealthy is theft. And I'm not just talking about war games. You may have gotten a free pass from Regal to waltz around WWE, ripping off other people's ideas, moves, and gear, but you didn't get a free pass from me. You're the number one contender. That should be me. Put it on the line in a match. Win or lose, 
We are done after that. If it means never having to deal with your BS again, fine, you're on. But only because there's no way I lose. Here she is, the formidable and unflappable Cap. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making her way to the ring from Barcelona, Spain. La Contra Cap has been making waves ever since her WWE tryout. If by waves you mean doing a great job of making the rest of the locker room suspicious of her motives, then yeah, sure. Up aboard, it's go time for the captain. but she has quickly grown in popularity. Yeah, and quickly earned success too, Michael. Shotzi's a former NXT Tag Team Champion and nearly defeated Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's title. Energetic and fearless, Shotzi is ready for a fight. We'll call it an act of defiance or we'll call it one of delusion, but Shotzi isn't backing down. From the moment the captain arrived in WWE, Shotzi has had it out for. Now they finally meet again to settle their issues. This goes back even further to the independence scene. It's a long-standing grudge that transitioned to WWE and then was punctuated with a tank attack. It seems like a Falls Count Anywhere match is a perfect way for these two to wrap up their long-time battle. Springboard! Hurricane Rana! That's amazing! Risking it all and able to connect like a holy missile. Just a continuous rush on Shotzi here. Yeah, Shotzi finding herself on the wrong end of every exchange. She's able to stop the blitz that was coming her way. She was being tested, but now finally gets some offense of her own in. into the pin a kick out and you can see the frustration starting to build she likely knew that wasn't enough she's just keeping the pressure on dodges the attack just a smidge quicker no telling what she'll find under the ring here clearly thinking a steel chair is what's needed right about now and a puck into the cover of 
antagonism, Cap has finally put Shotzi behind her. What a win. I don't think Shotzi got the memo, Saxton. She's not going to take this insult lying down. Spear out of nowhere from Bianca Belair. The women's world champion just obliterated Shotzi. Looks like Bianca's just as tired of Shotzi's shenanigans as anyone. And now the champion and the number one contender are facing off. We may not have to wait for a match. This could jump off right here. It's finally happening. The number one contender in the Women's World Champion will finally go one-on-one. -on -one. It's about darn time. This is going to be an epic clash for that championship, and I can't wait to see it. Thanks for having my back out there. I was annoyed. Honestly, I think the whole WWE universe was. So, I guess this means we're finally gonna get our match, huh? You're pretty excited for someone who's about to get handled. <laughs> I see how it is. Well, you just go ahead and underestimate me, champ. Oh, I don't underestimate you at all. I've seen your stuff on the indies. I know you can go, but so can I. You've watched my indie matches? I didn't know you'd be into that. What? Just because I started wrestling at WWE and never had an independent run doesn't mean I can't appreciate what you did there. I mean, that dive off the balcony against La Congrejita Loca? Wild. Self-destructive and probably ill-advised, but wild. Man, if you had ever been a free agent when I was in TBD, I would have gladly jumped off a balcony against you too. That sounds like a blast, except I'm the one who would have been doing the jumping. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy with how it came up, but I do sometimes wonder what an indie career would have been like for me. It sounds like an adventure. Huh. What? Just gets me thinking about our match. About whether I'm going to pin or submit you? No, well, not exactly. Someone recently pointed out that I was lucky enough to experience a fantastical whirlwind tour when I got to WWE. I got to have the adventure. I'm wondering if I should pay it forward. What do you have in mind? You're confident you're gonna beat me anyway, right? Anytime, any place. I was really hoping you'd say that. You want to do what? It's just going to be two matches. Best of three series. So yeah, it might go to if Bianca really has no fight in her. It'll probably go to. That's as many as I need. It's not the best of three series that gives me pause. It's the locales. It is the usual custom to defend the WWE Women's World Championship on WWE TV. Sure, we could do that if we want to stick with what's comfortable or, get this, we fight for the Women's World Championship in the coolest indie arenas around. Japan, Mexico, we could even go back to your old stomping grounds in the UK. Honestly, Sounds like a great way to push that grassroots international exposure you business types are always talking about. And you know what else it sounds like? Oh, I'm positive you'll tell me. It sounds like a big swing. It sounds like taking advantage of every opportunity on the table. 
And it sounds like doing something different without being afraid to fail. I know what you're getting at, and I'm not sure I like you turning my words back on me. I'm sorry to interject, but this is ridiculous. It's, it's unheard of. Allowing a WWE champion to defend at these underground indie shows? Untelevised? What about... What about the advertisers? Advertisers? Really? I'm afraid Troy makes an excellent point. Marketing will hate this. See? Fortunately, this is not a marketing company. This is a professional wrestling company. A professional wrestling company that's going to take a swing and whose general manager cannot wait to get on the road. Uh. The only question is, where to first? Don't look at me. This is your world. I'm just the adventuring tourist who gets to hit you wherever you so choose. It may be my world, but I say we make it your world to start. What if we go back to your old territory? Match one at Club UK. God save the king.
Dear, dear, dear. That cannot have gone as you'd hoped. No. Everything went exactly according to my plan of getting hit in the face a bunch. Are you regretting giving Bianca the invitation into the Indies? Not at all. I miss the intimacy of a smaller show, the interaction with the fans. Just didn't expect Bianca to pull the same energy from the crowd quite as easily as she did. Bianca got very comfortable very quickly. If she had come up in the Indies, I would have wanted her for TBD. But that's not going to stop me from beating her at her next stop. Which raises the question, where to next on this great tour of the world? I've been giving that some thought, with an ice pack on my jaw. Bianca hits hard, and so do I. So let's go to the home of strong style, Japan. Sure, if you buy at the Japanese steakhouse we always go to. Deal. That feels like a fitting celebration once I beat Bianca. But only the food. I'm not buying you another jacket. PlayStation.